November 2022, the launch of ChatGPT, that day changed everything. In the three years since then, the AI revolution has created a valley of despair in tech, with some roles in massive demand, while others have completely collapsed. Some engineers are seeing their skills become obsolete overnight, while others are getting multiple job offers and salary increases they never imagined possible. So what separates the winners from the losers? In 2025, if you wanna be on the winning side, there are two tech roles that stand out above everything else, cloud engineer and AI engineer. I'm Suleiman. I run my own AI cloud security consultancy and through my academy, I've helped more than 500 students learn cloud and AI. If you've been wanting to make the switch to tech or you're just trying to figure out which direction to take your career, today I'm going to break down exactly what the two hottest roles in tech look like from the inside. And then at the end, I'll share exactly which path that you should choose depending on your own personal situation. So what is a cloud engineer? And to understand this, you need Need to know that every app or website that you use needs to run on a computer somewhere in the world. When you open Netflix, that video has to be stored on a computer and then sent to your device. When you shop on Amazon, your order has to be processed on a computer and your payment information is also stored on a computer that handles the transaction. Now, here is how things used to work companies would go and buy their own physical servers, which are basically powerful computers, set them up in their own data centers, and then hire entire teams just to keep everything running. This was incredibly expensive to run, but the biggest problem here was scalability. If your app went viral overnight with thousands or 100,000 users, it would crash because you didn't have enough capacity because your capacity was limited by how many computers that you had set up and how powerful that they were. And if your traffic was slow, you'd be still paying for expensive hardware that wasn't being used. And that's where cloud computing changed everything. Instead of owning all of this infrastructure in warehouses, companies can now rent exactly the computing power that they need from providers like AWS, Azure, or GCP. If you need more power for a big product launch, you can scale up instantly. If your traffic dies, then you can just scale down and just pay for what you use. And cloud engineers are the ones who design and manage this new way of building digital infrastructure, ensuring they can handle millions of users at once, stay secure, and of course, don't cost the company a fortune to run. Now. The cloud computing market is projected to grow by 21% this year to $900 billion, and it's exploding to $5 trillion in the next decade. So the question is, what's driving this explosive demand for cloud engineers? And why is it one of the hottest jobs in tech right now? Well, firstly, every company has realized that they needed to move to the cloud to stay competitive. As we've said, physical servers are expensive to buy and to maintain. And with cloud computing, you only pay for what you use. And because of the pandemic, that accelerated this transformation from on-prem to the cloud. And suddenly, every business needed a cloud strategy. Companies that had been putting off their cloud migration for years, they started to move everything online in a matter of weeks. And this created massive demand for people who could architect and manage cloud infrastructure. But it's not just about moving to the cloud. Modern applications are incredibly complex. A single mobile app might use dozens of different cloud services for user authentication, data storage, image processing, push notifications, analytics, and more. And someone needs to design how these pieces work together reliably and cost effectively. And to top it all off, what's pouring fuel on the fire when it comes to demand for cloud cloud engineers is of course the AI boom. Big tech has pledged to spend $320 billion in AI infrastructure and spend this year. And just the sheer nature of how ChatGPT and LMs are processing millions of conversations every day, this means they rely on massive cloud infrastructure because of its scalability. And given these three reasons, you are probably wondering what skills do you need to break into this field? So firstly, you need to develop deep expertise in a single cloud platform. I recommend AWS because it's the industry leader, meaning it has the most job opportunities for you around the world. And from there, you'll need to master the core four. Think of these as the foundational pillars that everything else builds on on top of. Compute, storage, networking, and security. From there, learning how to use infrastructure as code tools like Terraform or CloudFormation is absolutely critical. 
because this lets you define your entire cloud setup in text files that can automatically build and configure your infrastructure instead of, of course, manually clicking around the cloud or AWS console. Equally important is knowing how to maintain and set up CI CD pipelines using platforms like Jenkins and GitHub Actions, which automate the process of getting your code from development into production in front of users. Now, beyond the technical skills, cloud engineers need business acumen as well, because product teams will come to you wanting to release a new feature or a new product and they'll explain to you what the feature needs to do from a user perspective. Then your job is to understand what they're trying to do, the problem that they're trying to solve, and then architect a technical solution, but also remembering that you're directly impacting one of the biggest things to a business, their costs. So your managers will be constantly coming to you, asking you about the costs and if you can reduce them. So you need to plan capacity in advance, you need to design architecture that's scalable, but also cost effective, and make sure everything works within the business time timelines and budget constraints. Basically the bridge between what the business wants to achieve and what's technically possible within their budget. In terms of career progression, junior cloud engineers typically earn between 80 to $90,000 a year. And as you get more senior, you'll earn way over $130,000 a year and even over $200,000 a year for certain individuals. And you can choose a variety of roles from cloud engineer to solutions architect to DevOps engineer, even platform engineer. And that's the beauty of learning cloud skills because this skill set that you acquire is applicable to so many roles in tech today. So what is an AI engineer? An AI engineer builds applications that uses obviously AI, right? To solve real problems for users. This is a much newer role that only really emerged in 2022 when ChatGPT showed the world that AI could be useful for everyday applications. Now, here is what most people misunderstand. With AI engineering, you're not training AI models from scratch. You don't have to be a machine learning expert. Instead, what you're doing is you're building applications using foundational models like GPT, Claude, or DeepSeek. Your job here is to figure out how to leverage the technology to then build useful applications that solve real problems for users. And if you've heard the word ChatGPT wrappers, then this is what it is. So why has this role exploded in demand seemingly overnight? Well, firstly, obviously because ChatGPT was revolutionary. Within days, millions of people were using it and quickly the question became at every single company of how can we use AI and integrate it into our products and our services? Before ChatGPT launched, the traditional path to adding AI required hiring loads of machine learning engineers to build and train custom models from scratch. And this is basically what ChatGPT has done for us. This process typically took months or even sometimes years, depending on the organization. And quite often this failed to produce anything useful for real users and foundational models basically change everything. Suddenly you could access incredibly sophisticated AI intelligence and capabilities through a few simple lines of code. This is what we call API calls. Now the demand is also being driven by user expectations. I think once people realized and experienced ChatGPT, they started expecting AI features everywhere. And if you don't have AI features, it's almost like customers are choosing not to buy from you. And that's why every software company and every business as a whole is racing to add AI capabilities. And investors are pouring billions into AI startups. And all of this has culminated in a supply and demand imbalance where there are far more AI engineering jobs than qualified candidates to fill them. Given this massive opportunity, what skills do you actually need to break into this field? But firstly, you want to master working with foundational model APIs from companies like OpenAI, Anthropic, and others. This means learning how to make API calls understanding the API documentation to really know what features and functionality that the API has, manage cost, manage rate limiting, and deal with response times. Next, you'll need to develop prompt engineering skills like zero shot, few shot, and chain of thought prompting. This is all about learning how to communicate with AI effectively so it gives you consistent results. You will also need to understand RAG systems. That's retrieval augmented generation. Think of this as connecting AI to your company specific data so it can give you accurate, relevant answers instead of just using it for general training. Python programming is essential using frameworks like Langchain and Hugging Face. These frameworks provide pre-built tools that make AI development faster and easier, while AWS offers ready-made AI services like Comprehend for text analysis and recognition for image processing that you could just integrate with a few API calls. More on that 
in just a moment. But first, you will also need to grasp vector databases and embeddings. These are specialized ways for storing and searching information that AI can work with effectively. While traditional databases store data in rows and columns, vector databases store the meaning and the context of information in a way that AI can understand relationships and find the relevant content. This is useful because when a user asks a question like, how much profit have we made in this quarter? The AI can find relevant content even if they don't contain those exact words by simply understanding the meaning behind the question. And just like cloud engineers, AI engineers also need a business understanding too. Product teams will come to you with ideas like, we wanna build an AI chatbot for customer support. And then your job is to translate that into something technically feasible while managing expectations about what AI can and can't do. You're also dealing with one of the most expensive parts of modern applications, AI inference, which is the process of getting answers from an AI model, cost that can be 10 to 100 times more expensive than traditional features. So you'll have to balance the power of AI while also staying within budget constraints. Now, in terms of progression, junior AI engineers can typically earn between 90 to $120,000. As you get more senior, you earn 150 to 200 thousand dollars building complex AI features and handling production systems. Senior AI engineers and architects can earn between 200 to 400 thousand dollars setting AI strategy for entire companies. Recently, Meta have actually offered nine figure deals for AI engineers to help them build super intelligence. The AI talent war is here and is getting out of hand. Now the salaries are higher than most tech roles because the demands right now vastly outstrips the supply. So with that said, which one of these careers should you choose and why? It makes way more sense right now to go with cloud engineering first and let me explain why. So firstly, you would have more strings to your bow. Cloud engineering applies to every single business, not just companies with an AI strategy. But more importantly, cloud engineers are uniquely positioned to take advantage of the AI boom in ways that most people don't realize. Think about it. People are building applications using foundational models and creating massive value. But as a cloud engineer, you have the one skill set that unlocks AI for everyone. You see, when you're building AI applications, it's fine to just test it on your local machine. You're seeing here if it works. But when your idea has been validated and you need to scale it with real users, to scale AI applications, you need sophisticated cloud infrastructure and knowledge. Every successful AI application is fundamentally nothing without cloud infrastructure. For example, Cursor AI, ChatGPT, they're all running on cloud infrastructure. And now I actually see cloud and AI as one. It's like yin and yang. And just look at the cloud providers like AWS. They're essentially becoming AI providers themselves. And as I mentioned earlier, AWS offers AI services like recognition for image analysis, comprehend for text analysis, transcribe for speech to text, and dozens of other AI services. Now you can add these AI capabilities to your applications through simple API calls. This means that as a cloud engineer learning AI, you're not just learning one skill set. You are learning how to combine the infrastructure knowledge that you already have with ready-made AI services that cloud providers offer. You are becoming someone who can build both the infrastructure required for these applications to run, whilst also knowing how to leverage these AI services by adding intelligence layers. This is exactly the route that I've taken because I can help companies solve the complete problem, building AI applications that actually work and scale in production. And I think AI engineering and also cloud providers have essentially democratized the use of AI intelligence for engineers. They've made adding an intelligence layer to applications so much easier. And the thing is, if you want to become irreplaceable, you just need more than a single string to your bow. Because in a world where we're all competing with AGI, AI that's as smart as humans, you can't be a one trick pony. And sure, it can be a little bit scary, but that's really where the world is headed. And we're all competing with Sam Altman's AGI solution. And quite frankly, he does not care about any of us. So let's hope he fails. And if you wanna start with cloud engineering, which is what I recommend, then check out my complete cloud engineer roadmap right here. This is not just about learning AWS, it's actually about understanding the infrastructure that will power the AI-driven future.